Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and uh, one of the reasons it's called MrKent.com is because if you want to check it out you can come there and uh, it's, uh, click on Why Mr. Kent. But uh, I taught at a computer school uh, starting in 1995. I started teaching at a computer school in Spokane, Washington and I had they they were using uh, Microsoft Office and so I had to buy me a copy of Office uh, and it was uh, I don't know what it cost but it came on uh, 12 or 13 three and a half uh, three three and a half inch uh, floppy disks and uh, so I used that uh, and for a little while and then what and then because you're at a computer school and because uh, uh, technology changes every year uh, Microsoft Office was changing every year so the next next copy I bought was on uh, uh, D or CD uh, I don't think maybe it was on DV but anyway it was on it was on discs and uh, so uh, that made it nicer you could have more more things to work with because they held much more uh, data so anyway I bought me that and I uh, used that for oh probably uh, quite a few years and then as one of the things in the uh, it's called the Euler it's the end user uh, license agreement <clears throat> and uh, you have to click to accept that well somewhere down in there it says you can only install that thing so many times and so finally uh, about 10 years ago about 10 years ago um, they I ran into that problem I, I installed it and then it said uh, after I got it installed of course it said uh, you gotta buy yourself a new copy so I bought myself a new copy and first of all before I did that it, that's what this is all about before I did that I went and I downloaded um, oh, open office it's called open office and at that time it didn't have too many uh, too many uh, tools and so I tried it and it didn't work so I ended up buying another copy of Microsoft Office <clears throat> for about 500 bucks and over the years I've changed computers restored computers and uh, and so this computer I'm using right here was the last one I was able to install uh, office on because uh, as things go I had to buy me another computer a while back and when I went to install office it said you know this is you can't keep this copy and so <clears throat> anyway uh, <laughs> So I looked at Open Office, but Open Office has been sold to a company, and uh, so that wasn't uh, an option. And then I went, and there's one called LibreOffice, and uh, so I checked it out. And sure enough, I had checked it out before, but like Open Office, it didn't have everything on it, but now it does. So uh, I'll tell you what I did. I went and I downloaded it, and let me show you what uh, the download looks like. Uh, right here <clears throat> and I downloaded the one on top the 6.1.4 and it says if you're a technology enthusiast uh, early adopter or power use oh no I'm sorry that's not the one I used I used the, the one down below that what a crazy guy I used uh, 6.0.7 it says if you deploy LibreOffice in an enterprise or corporate environment are a, a conservative use, user then download this one so that's the one I, I downloaded was uh, the I uh, uh, can't can't show, show you but anyway right there that's 6.0.7 <clears throat> and then I decided well yeah I've got to uh, I've got to be able to make uh, business cards you see uh, let me see let's go here uh, Microsoft Office has Word and Excel and PowerPoint and Outlook and one note is whatever that is now and publisher and access and I always use publisher to make my business cards uh, so when I got into uh, LibreOffice well sure enough uh, uh, I did, couldn't find where to get make business cards so I got online I looked and there was a couple of guys that use some kind of a strange technology to do business cards well bottom line is they <laughs> They apparently didn't have the latest version because let me go over here to my latest version and uh, when you open up uh, LibreOffice you've got writer document over here which is like Word you've got calc spreadsheet which is like Excel you got impress uh, presentation which is like uh, uh, PowerPoint 
And then drawing, <clears throat> and uh, I don't know if it matches anything with uh, with uh, Microsoft Office. And then the math form and the database, that's like X Access, and I used Access a lot when I first put my website together uh, for database purposes. But what I found is when I opened this up and started searching around, uh, you can go here, and if you click on this little guy right here up in the upper corner, you can come down here and right there, it's business cards. How about that? But let's say that uh, I don't want to use uh, their, their, uh, <laughs> their document for business cards, and I just went and closed it out. So uh, pause a second here. So uh, there's another one down here called Draw. And if you go up to that little corner thing, and come down sure enough you can do business cards so uh, I don't know if this is a newer version than what they had on the the videos I looked at but uh, anyway I clicked on business cards and then they have uh, all the different kinds you can get and I use uh, Avery the letter size so I can run it through my computer and I just happen to use the uh, three and a half by two inch uh, clean edge ones and so you can, there's a lot of other ones you can use. They'll let you pick a whole bunch of them there. But uh, anyway, so that's what I use. So I thought, okay, I'm going to make me a, a business card. So you click, come down here and you click on New Document, and there's your, your business cards. Okay, now keep in mind, because you can, down in the lower right-hand corner down here, you can slide this and make them smaller and bigger. So I'm going to make it really big so I can work on... Um, just to make it just a little bit bigger so I can work on one card <clears throat> then when I get all through doing this card I just click on synchronize labels and it makes all the other cards the same as the one I did here so uh, and I don't always use their little template lines and everything but uh, let's say that I've got a website and I am going to um, uh, make a business card because I sell cowboy hats and you know like when they blow off in the wind I pick them up and sell them so <laughs> I'm teasing alright so we go up here to insert and I'm gonna go to down below here to image and then on my desktop I've got a bunch of stuff saved there and there's a hat okay so I got my hat uh, inserted and uh, but that's way too big so I have to go up here and click on the little green well let's do this one over here so you don't miss something up little green square and make this thing a lot smaller and bring it over here and we'll put it uh, right there we'll make it as big as we can like that okay now then I need to have something uh, that says I sell cowboy hats so I go up here to the little text square inner insert text box click on that come down here and we're gonna make the title so we're just gonna drag it right across here cowboy hats and maybe I can just put it on top. I think I can just, well, we'll just worry about that later. Okay, so we're going to go to caps, caps Lock and uh, Cowboy Hats. Okay, but I need this to be centered on that. So I come up here and I click on that guy. This is just pretty much like uh, working with Microsoft Office stuff. And then we need to make that a little bigger. So instead of being 12 over here uh, in the... Uh, in the uh, font type we're gonna go to we're gonna make it let's make it about 15 well oh, that's still too small let's make it bigger than that let's make it 20 22 oh too big so we'll go let's see if we can just bring this out can we make it bigger oh we got to click there first we'll double click here what double click out here come over here click now we got the boxes so we click outside and then we we got our boxes and we'll see if we can put this on top of the cowboy hat here okay and sure enough that's gonna work because we click here and everything is fine but we want it to be a different font so we're gonna go click in here click on or double click now then we can go cowboy hats and we'll pick a different font let's pick something that looks like cowboy stuff so uh, let's go up to the top here and uh, uh, I know what I'm going to use here. This one right here. That's kind of a Western theme. <clears throat> okay, so we got cowboy hat. But do we like that color? Well, we'll double click in here. We'll drag our. Well, I don't know. Maybe we can just go ahead with it like it is. And let's make it red. 
that's kind of crazy but let's make it red oh see I didn't scroll I didn't select everything so because you can just change colors inside there so now we're gonna go in here and we'll make it red and then we'll click out here and double click and that is needs to be it needs to be a little different something not quite right about that so we're gonna go ahead and we'll make it dark red so we'll go up here and we'll click on whoop, let's just click the down thing we'll go to custom color okay and that's where our red is right there but we want it to be a darker red as you can see we're changing it down here we want it to be a darker red okay so then we'll click on okay we'll click out here it's almost uh, brown but that's okay we don't care there's other things we can do to change the font we can make it bold I don't know if I can make this one bold, but some of them, some of them you can. Remember, I keep having to double click in there to work with it, but let's see if we can make this bold. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right. So we got cowboy hats. Now, let's take another look at this. Um, let's see if there's something we can do to make it a shadow. Okay. So, um, shadow. That looks like it might be shadow. So we'll toggle shadow. There we go. And now we'll double click out here. I think that looks pretty good now we just have to say a little more about it so we'll make up an address or a phone number or something like that so we go up here and we click on text box and we come and uh, we make a text we can make as many of these text boxes as we want and uh, we want this to be centered also and so we're going to put in a phone number all right so it's going to be one, one uh oh it's toll free 800 uh N O T F R E E. <laughs> I'm laughing at my own jokes. Okay, so do we want it in that font? Well, that's not too bad of a font, so we'll keep that. But we want to we want to make it bold, so we'll click that. And uh, now this this is way too big of a box, so we're gonna go out here. We'll click here, and we'll make this here. And now we have to make some kind of a box that says these are the best hats in the world. So we're going to come up here. Oh, I just have to click up there. You don't write. But sometimes I do crazy stuff. Okay, so here we go. Um, and we'll make this uh, centered. We'll say if you, oh, let's see what we want to get out of. If you want a hat that fits your head. Give up. <laughs> we're just we're just having fun here. So we'll <laughs> give up. All right. So now that's what we want. Um, and I don't know if we can. Oh, we don't want basic shapes, but uh, we want to click on this and uh, see if we can rotate that. Rotate it. How much? Can we? Oh, yeah, we can. So we just come down here and we grab it. Come on. I want to rotate it okay so rotate oh we grab the corner over here that's what we do okay all right now we can also somewhere in here we ought to be able to fill in the background uh, color uh, I haven't tried that out yet but uh, anyway you've got all kinds of tools here and I'll let you play with them but you can make business cards all right now let's back up here let's go down to the bottom on the right over here and back up so we can see the whole thing okay and we'll go over here and click on synchronize labels and then we have our cowboy hats all we have to do is run this through our printer and uh, we have a, 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 a business card that's not going to do anybody any good uh, so anyway uh, I thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful, and I want to thank you for watching, and God bless.